Hello and welcome. Today, we're exploring the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi, a simple yet powerful tool for creating communication systems and automation. We'll see how it can be used to develop multi-canvas and multi-modbus systems, essential for modern automation projects. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, this video will guide you through the basics of using the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi in your automation projects. Let's get started and unlock the potential of Arduino in automation. Controller Area Network or CAN is a robust vehicle bus standard designed for automotive applications. Similarly, MaBus is a communication protocol for industrial devices, widely used in various applications. Multiple CAN ports allow seamless communication with a variety of automotive systems like engine control units, sensors, and actuators. MaBus ports enable integration with industrial control systems, including PLCs, temperature controllers, and other Modbus compatible devices. Systems with multiple ports can easily scale to meet expanding requirements without overhauling existing infrastructure. This provides the flexibility to connect a diverse range of devices, which is crucial for complex machinery and automation systems. Redundant communication pathways ensure system reliability, a critical aspect in industrial and automotive environments. This enhances fault tolerance and minimizes downtime in case of port failure. It also facilitates the collection of data from multiple sources for comprehensive monitoring and analysis. Hence, such systems are essential for predictive maintenance, quality control, and operational efficiency. Some of the real-world examples are automotive applications and industrial automation. Modern electric vehicles EVs, with advanced driver assistance systems ADAS, utilize multiple CAN ports for sensor data aggregation and actuator control. EV charging stations, incorporating both CAN and Modbus, manage charging processes and integrate with grid systems. Manufacturing plants use systems with multiple CAN and Modbus ports for controlling assembly lines, robotic arms, and monitoring environmental conditions. Smart grid applications balance energy loads and integrate renewable energy sources. In conclusion, we can say that systems with multiple CAN and Modbus ports are crucial for advanced automotive and industrial applications. They offer enhanced connectivity, scalability, redundancy, and improved data management capabilities. Let us start by exploring the URT capabilities of the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board. The Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi is powered by the Renesis RA4 M1 processor. It features not just a CAN port but also four dedicated hardware URT ports. One of the four hardware URT ports is exclusively connected to the Wi-Fi module. In our project, this specific port won't be utilized since it's dedicated to Wi-Fi connectivity. The second URT port is accessible through the board's USB port. This feature is particularly useful for projects that require communication with a PC or other USB devices. The third URT is available on pins 0 and 1. It can be initialized as serial 1 in your Arduino sketches. The fourth URT can be accessed via analog pins 4 and 5. It requires specific port declaration during initialization. This port expands the possibilities for projects requiring multiple serial communications. Beyond the hardware URT ports, additional URTs can be created as software serial ports. This is crucial for projects needing more URT ports than the hardware provides. Another interesting feature is the built-in CAN module. The Uno R4 Wi-Fi RA4 M1 processor comes with a built-in CAN module. This module is compliant with the CAN 2.0A and CAN 2.0B standards. To enable communication with other CAN devices, a transceiver module is necessary. This is because the RA4 M1 processor itself can't directly interface with the CAN network. We'll explore how a transceiver module bridges this gap. The board's CNRX and CNTX pins can be connected to CAN transceiver ICs like the MCP2551 or TJ1050. The built-in Arduino underscore CAN library is used for communicating with CAN devices. An important aspect to note is the multiplexing of CAN pins with SPI pins. This means, at any given time, you can use either CAN or SPI, but not both simultaneously. We'll explain how this impacts your project design and ways to work around it. The CAN bus capabilities of the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi open up a world of communication possibilities. Understanding how to effectively use the CAN module will elevate your projects to a new level. Next we focus on the RS485 and Modbus capabilities in the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board. The TTL to RS485 module is a crucial component for RS485 communication. 
This module acts as an interface adapter, converting TTL signals to RS-485 standards. We'll cover the basics of this module and its role in Arduino-based systems. The module's core function is to seamlessly connect the TTL interface with the RS-485 serial port. We'll delve into the technical aspects of this conversion and why it's vital for certain applications. One of the key advantages of RS-485 communication is its capability for long distances. This module supports communication for distances up to 1.2 kilometers, making it ideal for large-scale projects. RS-485's resistance to electromagnetic interference is a standout feature, especially in industrial environments. The ease of integrating this module with Arduino boards is a significant advantage. After discussing the individual components, let us continue to explore the intricate design of combining two Canvas connections and two Modbus slash RS-485 connections in an Arduino-based project. We start with an overview of the design, which includes two Canvas and two Modbus slash RS-485 connections. This design is tailored for projects requiring robust and versatile communication capabilities. Central to controlling these connections is the USB URT serial port. This port is utilized to manage both the CAN and Modbus slash RS-485 connections. Both RS-485 converters in this design are connected to the board's hardware serial ports. This ensures reliable and efficient communication for the RS-485 connections. The design includes the use of the inbuilt CAN port for one of the CAN bus communications. For the second Canvas channel, a TTL to CAN converter is connected to a software serial port. This setup expands the Canvas capabilities of the project, allowing for a dual-channel configuration. The design includes two CAN channels, both of which are connected to another Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board. This setup exemplifies how two Arduino boards can communicate with each other over CAN, offering insights into multi-board communication systems. Moving to the RS-485 slash Modbus aspect, these are connected to a PC using an RS-485 to USB converter. This connection enables direct communication between the Arduino-based system and the PC. For effective communication, two separate Modbus slave emulators are employed. These emulators interact with the RS-485 modules connected to the master Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board. A critical component of this design is the Python GUI, which sends serial data through the USB port to the master Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board. This GUI acts as an interface for controlling and monitoring the system. We'll cover how to create a simple Python GUI and integrate it for serial communication with Arduino, showcasing a real-world example. To illustrate these concepts, we'll present practical examples, demonstrating how each component of the design interacts with others. The circuit shows the connections discussed earlier. We have Python GUI running on host machine. Two RS-485 slash Modbus channels connected between Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi and two independent slave emulators running on host PC connected through URT to RS-485 module. One Canvas channel connected between two Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi boards using their inbuilt CAN devices. One Canvas channel connected between two Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi boards using their hardware and software serial ports though URT to CAN converters. Let us see these connection in action. We have two Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi boards. One of them is the main controller. Both are connected to PC using USB serial port. We have two TTL to RS-485 converters connected to RS-485 to USB converter. This connects our Modbus channels to PC slave emulators. Next, we have CAN trans receivers connected between inbuilt CAN modules of Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi boards. Finally, we have TTL to CAN converts connecting the software serial ports of two Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi boards. This circuit is controlled through a Python GUI. The Python GUI is used for connecting and disconnecting the comp port connection with master Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board through USB serial port. We can select the action that we wish to perform. The GUI allows us to enter custom numeric data that we wish to send through CAN ports. The GUI also displays the data received from Master Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board through USB serial port. COM port of second Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi board is also connected through USB serial port host PC for monitoring the received CAN data. Finally, we have two Modbus slave emulators running on host PC with slave ID 1 and 10. We start the operation by connecting the COM port. 
After selecting the desired operation, we enter the data that we wish to send from Master Arduino Uno R4 to another Arduino Uno R4 board. In this application we are sending the ASCII equivalent hex codes. For example, the data 323334 represents 3 bytes 32, 33, and 34 which is the ASCII equivalent of numbers 2, 3, and 4 in hex format. For both the CAN channels we send the ASCII encoded data. The data received by the second Arduino Uno board is stored in an internal register and sent back as an acknowledgement to Arduino Uno Master. The Modbus application is configured to send bulk data to holding registers. The application shows that the Modbus register contents are updated with every Modbus-related operation performed through GUI. We can repeat the operation to verify the operation of the circuit. The aim of this project is to show that by using multiple communication channels with different communication standards, we can develop a more complex system using this project as a subsection. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.